All right, guys, we're gonna call this one how to wire up your Pro Dash. So, as you do your unboxing, right, you're gonna have your main harness from Holly. You'll have your GPS antenna and your two USB-C plugs. I plug mine in the top, you can do whatever. GPS, all right, it's just a coaxial connector, righty tighty, lefty loosey, so on and so forth. All right, then you just stick that boy up on the dash or anywhere where it can see the sun and the stars and the moon, and you'll be good to go. So you want to add in something else onto here, right? Because it basically just comes with power, ground, ignition, and your can connectors. So what you're going to do, you'll take a little pick, and then you'll come in here. Man, all these fucking YouTube guys are really sucks doing this one hand. All right, so... You push on that little white rectangle boy in there and it'll pop up these two little little fellers on there. All right now all your your connector is unlocked. So to to show we can fish out one of these damn little plastic plugs and they come out Easy peasy when you're not trying to do this shit one handed. So then you want to add something in here, right? So these IO can only be used with certain things. So you're going to come up here, page 13 of Dang Owner's Manual, and you figure out what you want to do. So you can hear damn dog whining in the background. Say you want to add in one of these oil pressure sensors, right? By default, these are configured to do oil pressure right off the bat, zero to 100. If you're doing more than 100, I guess you're using like fucking Capizzi's motor or some shit. But, so we're gonna pick IO11. IO11 happens to be pin 23, but if you're confused, go to page 8, and we'll look at here. All right, so right here you can see it says ground, 12 volt power, your solid state relays, etc. Your switches, right, switches 1 through 4, your can shits. So we want IO 11. IO 11 is right here, pin 23. So if we look at that, that's the third row down, third from the right. <clears throat> and we're gonna go back and look at the plug on the connect on the car. All right, we're back in the car and we're looking at the harness. So if you look at the connector. It's got numbers on the sides and top and bottom. See right here, pin one is the is the ground, pin two is power, blah, blah, blah. So just like the manual showed, pin 23 is third row down, third from the right. This one is 25, so 24, 23. So we fish, we unlock... The connector, that fucker goes flying after we fish him out. And we'll take wire with the uh, terminal crimped on the end. And we'll shove it in the hole. And we'll push it in. And you'll feel it lock in place and it'll go all the way down. You look back on here and you'll be able to see pin 23 right here. He's all the way in there.
and you just push down on them two little rectangle boys and it locks back up. Alright, so you're going to do the same thing for an input, an output, or your sensor ground. I've already got my sensor ground in there, so if I wanted to add something to it, I'll just splice into that wire. Or if you're fucking loaded, then go buy the damn thing that has a. It's already wired and just another fucking connector you plug on to this. But I'm not, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of fucking splices. Alright, I hope that answers your questions. I'll make some more videos if you want to see how to wire up or how to configure an input or an output or switch, solid state relay, whatever. All right, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Go to my OnlyFans. I'll sell some, some feet pictures, uh, premium Snapchat, and, uh, and all that.